everybody. Welcome back to Divinity Original Sin, the Enhanced Edition. Um, I have tried to stream this about five or six times this afternoon uh, with no success. I don't know what's going on. Uh, it, I normally use Raptor to stream on Twitch when I'm streaming a game and it just doesn't seem to want to work. So I will just record this episode as normal. I need to do one thing. Uh, if it'll let me. Put it on full screen again. And let's hope that works. Yeah, it's got rid of that little line that I get sometimes. Right, so yeah, last episode of uh, Divinity, we uh, did the Troll King, if I remember correctly. Uh, we've still got a little bit to do in this area. I want to clear this area before I move on to Sacred Stone. Uh, we've got some uh, goblins to kill in this area. We've got the totem to do. I believe there's a guy in a... Like an underground cave here in this, I think, that is talking through the totem that we need to do. So we'll do that. I'm not sure we'll do that this episode. Um, the first thing I want to do, since we've done the Troll King... The deer casts a fearful glance at you. It opens its mouth as if to speak, but no words escape. Ah, uh, what happened? Did you lose your voice? With great sadness in its eyes, the deer nods and points its head toward the east. Yonder dwells what took its voice, if indeed this animal is to be believed. Okay. Right. Yeah, what I really want to do before after doing the Troll King was speak to this troll here, Archibald. Look! One of the alien aspect approaches. Go on, my boy. State the ancient demand. Ah, uh, um, a tall troll. Well nigh correct, my son. But not quite. Um, uh, troll, troll. <laughs> you come very close in your approximation of the venerable bid, my boy. But a tiny flaw distorts it still. Tap, tap, troll, troll. Capital, my son. Most excellent. I'm very proud of you indeed. Now then, dearest wanderer of Lucula's leaf-strewn lanes, you have heard our inviolable command. Pay us, trolls, the toll that is our prerogative, and the bridge shall be yours to cross. What an eloquent troll you are. Um, I have some questions for Ask you. Ask them, and I shall answer. Let's discuss the troll, t troll king. The king? slain him but that means that means i am now the king of all trolls you have given me the grown human with gold and gifts i thank thee now pardon us now pardon us we'll be on our way to greener or perhaps more golden pastures um what happens to all dead travelers i already know this Those clubbed unfortunates over yonder they did not pay the toll traveler and to be clubbed i'm afraid is the fate that indubitably befalls those who do not heed the infrangible doctrine that is troll toll let's change the subject i'll take my leave it is yours now do be gallant amadeus and bid our friend good day have a nice day sir <laughs> And off they trot. We didn't have to kill Amadeus, and Archibald is off to be king of the trolls. So that's a better ending for all of us, I think. I don't think these bodies have anything that I need. We will check. Oh, the slimes are still around. We've got a reward chest. Ooh. Oh, that's not good. Oh, look at this. I think we will have some of that. Send that to Scarlet. One handed. Oh, damn it. 
<laughs> Alright, send that to Medora. Who I don't think will use it. She's still using two-handed. I need to make the decision what to do here. Whether to make a two-handed or one-handed. What skills has she got at the moment? Weapons. Two-handed for... No, there's absolutely no point making a one-handed. I don't think. No, no. We'll stick with the two-handed, I think. Right, let's check out this new robe. Ah, that's better than what she's wearing. Let's have that. Let's send that back to Roderick. Right, there's the bridge to the uh, Phantom Forest. We don't want to do that yet. I want to try and clear as much of this area as possible before we move on. Let's clear that. I'm so annoyed that the Twitch didn't work. I was going to, from now on, I was going to actually live stream uh, the Divinity Original Sin. I wasn't going to do videos of it anymore. I was just going to live stream and then maybe put the, the video of the live stream on the channel. But it appears that is not to be. It does not want to work. Donnie would have been in stitches if he heard that. Howdy. Lovely day for a romp through the forest, ain't it? Ha! Like hell. Goblins round here swarm as thick as flies round my cattle's asses. Put an axe in my bodyguard's face, one of them did. Right where his big drunken nose used to be. Okay, nice animals you have. Aye, my latest set of merchandise. Joy to herd them, that lot, until they crap all over your shoes, that is. Won't cost me fortunes on Boot Black's wages much longer, though. Bought them for cheap from Berkshire back in the city, and I'm about to sell them dearly indeed in sacred stone. Full of lunatics, that place, or so I've been told. They'll slice these beasts from ear to ear the moment they can get their hands on them. Use the blood in rituals or some such. Lunatics, right? Madman. Uh, yes, I'm going to take my leave for a second. Let's look at log entry. We met Roy Merch on his way to the Hood on Sacred Stone. They're destined, destined to be slaughtered, or they seem to be oblivious to their fate. Right, well, let's have a quick word, shall we? Thank you very much. Which is Get something your I do not oh, Let me salute you, a true Ovine spirit. Uh, what can you tell me about yourself? <laughs> I'm Bruce. Ram, Romer, and Reveler. Revel in what you ask. The beauty that is Dory. That is this sweet, nay, this cherubic cow. The cutest of our kind <laughs> ever to have moved. So you fancy Doreen, do you? <laughs> Why, yes. Do tell me. Have you ever beheld a bovine bell as elegant as her? No, for such a cow does not exist. Would I could partake in the privilege bore of a bull enjoys. How cute and what offspring would be. I'm afraid Roy is to sell you to a butcher. Even lambs on a lavender eider down. Tell me it isn't true. Am I to go like a sheep to the... Well... You know the Harris free. Please help me. Help me. <laughs> right, uh, let's talk to Dory. A shiny day to you. Delighted to make your acquaintance. Uh, tell me about yourselves. Your interest in my modest person truly flatters me. My name is Dory, and this is my husband, my flame, my love, my Valentine, Maurice. Oh, Maurice, darling, do be quiet. He never bothered to master the human tongue, you see, and is therefore wholly incapable of indulging in this delightful conversation. No. Yes, yes, that'll do, Maurice. Oh, he's just so excited, don't you know, as am I, to go to the golden pastures of Silver Glen, Roy, our owner, has been going on and on about how all of us will soon be in a better place indeed. <laughs> okay, you're going to be slaughtered, you know that. Dear me, slaughter, blood, this, this cannot be. We must do something. Maurice, darling, do something. No! Bit late for that, innit? Trust you to raise a moot point, Maurice. 
Oh, kind human, have mercy on us poor animals. Deliver us from certain death in horrid Silver Glen. All right, I'll do my best. Where are you going? You have my welcome. Now give it back and scarp her. What? You're a soft of heart, are you? The poor deers shouldn't be killed. I should just give up on the gold they'll fetch me. Well, say no more. Seriously, shut it. You think I risk life and limb for a bit of beef and mutton? Either you pay me in gold, or you leave me alone before all this chatter attracts the damn goblins. Ooh, I think I'd like to kill you. Mo Mm. Oh, you always say the sweetest things, but you may skewer one of them with your horns. Fine, Fine. you can have them. God's damned highway robbers are everywhere these days. Here's hoping the goblins will skin ya. Oh, God, let me kill him. <laughs> right, animals, you're free. The hero of the hour, nay, the century. How agreeable it is to gaze upon you. You're free from Roy, you say. My champion, I am in your debt. Maurice and I are infinitely grateful. May neither thine horns nor thine udders ever wither. Thank you. <laughs> well said, my dear Maurice. Well spoken indeed. But what shall we do next? We can already travel with you. Now can we, kind hero? Perhaps we could seek those legendary pastures that nasty creature of a Roy described. They may well be real. For a man such as he hasn't the imagination to dream up such a lovely place. Though perhaps it is safer and more convenient simply to return to Sysail. Only danger lies ahead. Go back to Sysail and be safe there. Better to be safe than very sorry and very dead round the next bend. Yes, I suppose you're right, sweet liberator. In fact, there's no supposing about it. Come, Maurice Buttercup. We are going home to Sysail. Moo. Okay. All right, that's lots of experience there. I think I missed that the first time around. Can't remember doing that. Need to get that augmenter. And what else have we got here? Have we anything else to uncover? Oh, we haven't uncovered this way. Let's head down there. What do we have here? I've already done this. No, I haven't. I can only hope this might be a magpie's nest. Talk to the animals first. For the first time in my life, I'm not even a little bored. All right, okay. That most terrible uh, of do you hear it, friend? The forest music hums, buzzes, falls and rises like waves, like starlight through the atmosphere. Imagination, friend. It's imagination that transforms this music into the surreal. Perhaps more music can help you unlock your dreams. Perhaps one of my compositions could add some modicum of joy to your life. I'd be so happy to share this gift with you. If it please you, select something from my catalogue. Hmm, let's go for the Dragon Scourge. It's Caden's bolster and soothe. Alright, it's up to you. Quickly before my audience disperses, I can't seem to convince Mrs. Hollingsworth there to choose a tale. Would you mind doing us all the honour? I'd be harrowed to sing to you of Gracchus Rex, the last Source King. Delighted to sing of Astarte, the fallen goddess of the source. Terrified to tell you of Babe Oape, the hag of death. Ooh. Well, let's do Astarte. Our first friend, shall it be? Astarte, mother of the source, who reared us and vanished. The greatest mystery. Yes, and so I sing. 
Thank you. Oh, we've got a chest there, and it isn't stealing either. Let's get that. One strength, and I'll go to Medora. I'll take all that. A strange thing happened then, and everything that lived Bad was better. Strange, yes, dear Lisa. Right, so it's you, young lady. <laughs> Madame Leonestra. <laughs> oh, very sorry. I, I shouldn't laugh. It's just next God's Day is going to be very eventful for the likes of you. Uh, a clairvoyant, are you? I'd like to hear a secret if you have any. And I'd like the voices in my head to quit their mewling, but they insist to me as I'll insist to you. Money talks. You. <laughs> Six secrets I may have for you, Source Hunter. Granted, you can pay the price. Mm. I see you are a serious sort of person, Source Hunter. Only the greatest of my secrets will satisfy you, and so it is the greatest of them that I offer. Give me your map then, and I'll show you where to find it. Okay. Uh, tell me about my future. That depends. How much have you got? Choose carefully, Source Hunter, for I can only consult the heavens for you a single time. One oh, mustn't become no, too no, greedy no. regarding fate, no, no. A glut of foresight can drive one rather batty indeed. Uh, no, you're not getting any more money out if of me. If you meet any wanderers, send them our way, won't you? My priceless collection of life-life ceramic infants won't grow itself, you know. Okay, secret unlocked. She sees uh, the future, does she? Uh, think she'll see it coming if I slap her upside her empty head. Huh? Huh? Your temper is so like mother's, my daughter. Oh, well, there it is. Sometimes feel she is here with us. I shall now sing the story of Astarte. Let us have a look. What have we got this way? I don't think we're anything really. Uh, nothing there. Mound, taking us poop. Right in this way. I need hastening. Uh, nothing I can see. No. Right, so let's head this way. Right, looks like we're heading in here. Hopefully they won't run into a fight on the way. Okay, it's not there. Is it here? Ready to advance, ready to defend. What can I do for you, comrade? Right, so it appears to be here. All that digging and there's nothing here. All right, let's try there. All 
all that digging and there's nothing here. That should be the right direction. All that digging and there's nothing here. Uh, nothing there. All that digging and there's nothing here. Better not to pay all that money for nothing. All that digging and there's nothing here. Hmm. All that digging and there's nothing here. 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 Let's try here. All that digging and there's nothing here. <laughs> All right, it's just starting to wear a bit thin. All that digging and there's nothing here. Going to this, it's here. All that digging and there's nothing it's here. It's not this, is it? It can't be that, surely. Oh, maybe it is. Picking jewel, jewel wield. Hmm. No. No good. Let's try again here. Last chance. Then we'll move onwards. All that digging and there's nothing here. Alright, last chance. <laughs> I hate to pay that money for nothing. All that digging right, and there's okay. nothing here. I'm not too worried about that. I might cry because we're spending 3,750 for nothing, but what the hell, eh? Alright, let's just go back into this town. Level 15, aren't we? It's heating up. To me, my goblins, gather round your fall to earth in reverence of this totem. Now stand and fall to earth in reverence of this totem. Now stand and fall to earth in reverence of this totem. Now stand. Be sure there's a hatch somewhere in this uh, base. What trickery there is this? There we go. It vanished. And yet.
And nothing in those. Oh. Oh, let's have a quick look at something here. Medora, where are you? Uh, love grenade. That's what I was looking for. Combine with. Thank you. I'll do that. Alright, let's have a quick word with Crom Cromkiss. Whoops, wrong one. Again, my gracious ally, would you care to trade? I'm flush with merchandise since the totems asked the goblins to donate their best equipment to the shaman. <laughs> uh, you're nothing more than a shaman. Care to explain what's going on here? to my tribe. There's just nothing so special afoot here, source hunter. Believe you me. You see, not so long ago, one of our tribesmen stumbled across a, a mysterious red stone. We found it shiny and pleasing to the eye, so we installed it in our spirit totem. But soon it began to speak. A demon's voice it was, dark as night, and each of the goblins took it as the voice of the spirits made manifest. Where once they turned to their shaman for guidance, now they only have ears for that blasted totem. But I would not be so easily overlooked. I found this cave and built myself a device that would allow me to dispense guidance as is my right through the guise of the totem the demon keeps his nose out of it as long as there's enough bloodshed to go around <laughs> though he did see fit to make an appearance when it came to questioning you what's so special about a thick-necked pig Skin? I can't say, though. But there's no reason we can't keep this between us, um, friend skin. After all, better one of the tribe looking after it than a strange demon, wouldn't you say? Okay, let's decide what to do with this trickster. Come now, source hunter. There's no need to interfere in goblin affairs. All you've got to do is climb back up that ladder and go about your business as usual. Hmm. Oh, I don't know what to do. I don't know what to do. Uh, I am in the mood for a fight. <laughs> Indeed. I'm sure they'll be shocked to hear they've been doing the bidding of a washed-up shaman. I won't let you spread your filthy lies to my goblin brethren. But if you won't stand down, I'll stand up. Alright, there we go. Let's have a, a fight. Okay. Hmm. Yeah, I'm not sure I want to do that. Let's try and knock down our roll on that. I mean to knock down, of course it is. Why didn't I know that? I should have done. Right, Farsi are on. And turn. Nick. Sing praises. 
Get out there and do your stuff. Hmm. The skelly out for you. And let's try a silence on the shaman. Silence failed. Great. Ouch. Okay, well, bleed won't work. <sighs> nice crit. Oh, nice job, Skelly. Thrilling as the stage, though not half so bloody. And again. Ouch. can we do with these? What can we do? Well, let's get you. Over there. And then... Let's try and freeze you. Frozen. Excellent. Can that finish? If at first you succeed, yes, keep it can. Falling. Your service pleases me greatly. <laughs> Ooh, it worked. Excellent. Time to deal some damage. There we go. All right. Go, Skelly. I think I'll go for the eyes this time. Very nice. Ah, a flurry. Confound it. Ooh, 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 ooh. Very nice. Right, get it there. Yes. Gotta love that damage. Right. What have we got heal? A little something for everyone. Back on my feet again. And what's he dropped? Oh, it looks like we've got quite a few things here. Um, let's get Tornado out. bit easier to loot. Oh, oh damn it, wrong person. I feel better already. Oh. That's plenty of skill books. Wow. That is a lot of skill books. Staff of Imagination. Well, that will go to Scarlet. That will go to Medora. That will go to Bear Daughter. That will go to Medora, and that will go to Medora. Well, this has been quite a nice little haul we've got here. What have we got? Shackle of Pain, Medora. Invulnerability, Master. Better can't learn it. 
No. Okay, once I switch off the save, what oh, to get the next level in witchcraft? Unless, what's the master I've got at the moment? Uh, witchycraft uh, master. Horrific scream. Forget. Invulnerability, learn a skill. I will have that. Yes, please. Thunder jump. Uh, Scarlet. Bear daughter. Bear daughter. She probably has those. Right, well, this can go to Medora. Can she learn a master? Please say uh, yes. No. Damn it. <laughs> uh, my arms, my arms. Oh, she's got a flurry. Yes, we'll uh, we'll keep flurry. I already know this skill. Back to Roderick. That's a, just a, a switcheroonie, that one, just in case that's got three intelligence on it, the one we're using. So we'll keep that, I think. And we can always use the other if we need some air damage. That sounds good to me. Is that air damage? 164. Oh, that's better than what? Mm, better damage, but we'll lose the intelligence. And it was Gene for George that uh, told me about that, so... Thank you very much. It's fire, water, air. That can go to Roderick. Keep those. And that will bring us to the end of this episode, I do believe. The troops looking good. Well, we've just got rid of the uh, the shaman underneath that's controlling the goblins, so they will probably attack when I go to the surface, and that will be a long ass fight. So we shall leave that till the next episode. All right, folks, thanks very much for watching. Uh, I'm sorry it wasn't the Twitch stream I wanted it to be. It ended up just being a recording. I'll have to see if I can work out what's gone wrong with it. Let's try and sort it out. Alright guys, this is All Grey, signing off.